Understanding residential heat and energy recovery ventilators. In part one, you learned why they are needed and how they work. In part two, selection by geographical area and sizing by your home area. Now in part three, you shall learn why balancing is critical for performance and how a typical balancing is done. A HRV or ERV works best and it's most efficient when the air flows are equal. In areas where freezing occurs, a barrel system stands less chance of freezing up. Also, it does not depressurize the home, causing backdrafting of fossil fuel appliances or open fires, or pressurizing the home, forcing moisture into the structure, causing damage and possible mold growth. It is recommended that balancing be done by a licensed HVAC contractor, as they have the tools to do the job. All Fantech units have a built-in balancing damper that assists in quick and easy balancing of the air flows. Two common methods of balancing air flows and pressures are airflow station and PTO2. Both these items require the use of magnahelic gauge. And of course the selection of hand tools, tape and masking. Professional would know where and how to use these instruments to take airflow measurements. However, with the Fantech Flex 100H and the VHR704R, all that is required is a magnahelic gauge, as the units have integrated pressure ports and balancing dampers. These dampers are easy to adjust and lock. Let's see how balancing is done in practice. Balancing your Fantech heat or energy recovery ventilator. A few points before you start balancing. One, make sure that the unit is not in defrost. Two, Prior to balancing, turn off all the exhaust fans in the house. That's the kitchen fan, the bathroom fan, the dryer fans. You open the balancing damper on the unit, which is integral. And make sure that the if it's attached or ducted into a heating or ventilation system, that, that system is operating on high. Okay the two things we're going to use to balance this system. We're going to use a magnahelic gauge which you make sure is on a level surface and a grid airflow insert. The good thing about this is you can read the pressure in the duct and also it'll give you the airflow at that pressure. So, make sure that the system is on and in high. In this case, we're going to turn it on and we're going to use an RTS2. Unit is now on. Using this system, prior to using it, I have drilled holes in the supply and the return duct covered them with tape, so here we go. Make sure that the airflow arrow on the insert is the correct way, i.e. with the airflow. Check your magnahelic gauge and look at the pressure on this side. We're running about 0.0 about 0 0.0506. We got the reset on the return. Now we're running at 
as HRV or ERV system is deemed balanced if the supply and the return are within 10% of each other. In this case, they are out of balance, so they have to be balanced. This, and with all Pantech HRVs or ERVs, has its own integral balancing damper on the supply side. Down here, we have a screw-type balancing damper that opens or closes. Only in this case, we see that the high side, more pressure, is on the return side. So in this case, what we have to do, we have to insert a balancing damper. Something like this. This is a 6 inch balancing damper inserted into the duct. I've inserted it here, as you can see, to adjust the, the pressure, all you do is just turn the damper. Turn the damper and you look at the pressure. It takes a little while to get it down to what you want. Here we go, it's coming down now. When you've got it balanced, like that, just again, check the pressure on both sides, make sure it is the same. Yeah, there you go, it is the same. And don't forget, cover up the holes. And my advice is, take lever on the damper to make sure nobody plays with it or it's adjusted. However, if you have a Fantec VH704R or a Flex 100H, you don't require the Magnaheli with the grid airflow insert for balancing. This unit has balancing ports directly on the unit, right on the port, very simply with the unit running connect the high leg from the magna helix to the high leg on the machine and the low to the low on the machine, read off the pressure and on the side of the unit shows you how to do it but it also shows you the airflow at that pressure very simply to adjust it all you require is a screwdriver very simply on the unit you would the screw slot here adjusts an arm inside that changes the angle of the damper. You then lock it off when you have it where you want it. Finished. Don't forget to do both sides. To recap, a HRV or ERV works best and is most efficient when the airflows are equal. In areas where freezing occurs, a balanced system stands less chance of freezing up. It also does not depressurize the home, causing backdrafting of fossil fuel appliances or open fires. Or pressurizing the home, forcing moisture into the structure, causing damage and possible mold growth. It is recommended that balancing be done by a licensed HVAC contractor, as they have the tools to do the job. This completes part 3. In the final part you will learn how quick and easy maintenance is for the homeowner or contractor.